Previously on The Secret of Christopher Topher. The Pope and his officials are planning to get rid of the president. I'm not sure how, but I plan to find out. I have a plan that will make Christopher step down from his presidency. I will not go into details yet, but he'll know when the time comes. Howdy, Alex. Karen tells me y'all need a ride to D.C. The people will figure out who the real monster is. Christopher, your days as president and world leader are over. Just outside of Washington was one of many prison camps operated by the aliens. The camps were placed around the world, usually in the outskirts of major cities. This particular camp, Camp 349, was where Alex, Karen, and Walker found themselves after being apprehended by the four men from the barricaded road. The camp contained prisoners of many different races, ages, and sizes, dressed in orange prison garb, all being run by Decepticon and compromised human soldiers who fell victim to the mind control command of the Sixth Scroll. In the middle of the camp was a huge clock tower that rang loud chimes on the hour. Alex, Karen, and Walker were taken to one of the many dark housing chambers that adorned the camp. When they entered the chamber, they were shocked to see Flip, Jackson, and other military officials being held as prisoners. Flip! Lieutenant Jackson! We thought we would never find you. Looks like you two got lucky. And I see you got a friend with you. The timing couldn't be better. Flip, Jackson, and his soldiers were devising a plan for escape. Every hour on the hour, it was time for the prisoners to be executed. At the chime of the clock tower, the prisoners knew that meant death. Out of the dimensional portal, the aliens would appear and force the prisoners through the portal to their homeland in Ver. The prisoners, too stunned to act in self-defense, looked on in horror. Once taken through the portal, they were led to a lake of fire that's located in Evernest Sign, a hellish place in the southern regions of the Ver Mountains. Here, they will plead with the Pope for forgiveness before being sentenced and then cast alive into the Lake of Fire. This was something that Flip and his team was going to avoid. He took a cloaking pill and finished up his instructions. When the aliens tried to force Alex, Karen, and the rest of the prisoners into the portal, while cloaked, Flip began to shoot and kill the aliens. Jackson and the other soldiers joined in. Afterwards, they led Alex, Karen, and the rest to safety. Around the world, there were daily broadcasts of the Pope carrying out convictions to the non-believers to be executed in the Lake of Fire. This was the Pope's and Church's way of administering fear to those who ran counter to the Church's teaching. It was either commit to the Church or get sentenced to the Lake of Fire. Meanwhile, in the bowels of the White House, President Topher was being held prisoner by the Pope. Well, Christopher, it's time for you to accept your fate and join our new government structure. I will not. You have to dump me in the lake of fire with the rest of the innocent people you've murdered. Unfortunately, that's not my decision to make. You don't realize how badly I wish to take you up on that offer, but there's been a change of plans. The main reason you've been kept alive is because I've promised my business partner you will not be harmed. We've agreed that if you are harmed, it will be by his hands only. Let me guess, it's one of your alien friends. I care nothing about those aliens. Make no mistake, I hate them with a passion. I will cut their hearts out of their chest if I got the opportunity. Then, there was a humming sound accompanied by a bright light. I'd like to introduce you to my partner, the mighty Aesop. And by the way, he also happens to be your father. 